Direct Observation of Procedural Skills, or DOPS. Like CBD and mini kicks, this is another area many of you will have had previous experience of. DOPS are used in the assessment of practical skills. Assessments should initially be formative, used more to provide feedback on the procedure, but subsequently, for those procedures requiring clinical independence, sign-off needs to be summative. Assessments don't have to be by consultants, but do need to be by people skilled in the procedure themselves, which may include non-medical staff, but should not be done by other trainees at the same level as yourself. For the current requirements on what sign-off is needed at what level of training, look at your ARCP decision aid. We'd highly recommend seizing any opportunity to get full sign-off for a procedure as early as you can, regardless of the decision aid requirements. For example, if you have a gastroenterology job in your first year of training, and need to do acidic drainage, this is a far better opportunity to learn to do it now than having to try and get it done a year later when working in an unrelated specialty. If you've come into the training programme already competent in a procedure and have sign-off that you can link to the procedure, you still need to demonstrate that you're maintaining your skills. This could be either via further summative assessment or recording your procedures to show adequate numbers to maintain competency. Procedures can be recorded on the template for recording procedures procedures and clinics document from the JRCPTB website. It's been noted nationally that some staff are reluctant to sign some procedures off at the level required. Remember, your competency in a procedure is related to your curriculum, not that of any other specialty. The JRCPTB Advisory Committee have produced guidelines on interpretation of DOPS sign-off, which can be accessed from their website, which may be worth looking at if you're having trouble like this.